pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Corzo, this is for the week of November 3rd, 2017. I'm Brooke Irwin. And I'm Athena Rodriguez. And today we're bringing you the latest school news, weather, sports, and club information. Together, we bring you the latest and greatest. This, this is the Courtsell Update. Let's check the weather around Lancaster with Derek. Hey Rebs, it's Derek. Our forecast will be on the colder side. Monday will be a high of 62 with sunny skies and a low of 36. Tuesday will be cloudy with a high of 64 and lows in the 30s. Wednesday will be a high of 67 and low of 40. Thursday will have a high of 69 with sunny skies and low of 41. Friday it will be a high of 69 with clear skies and a low of 42. Our weekend, Saturday, will be warm and sunny with a high of 69 with a low of 37. Finishing our weekend, Sunday, will be the warmest day with a high of 68 and a low of 37. So back to you, Athena. Thank you, Derek. We will be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. How's Hall's class going? Sure, I bet it was. I think I'm failing. I'm passing chemistry. Are you passing my phone? Yeah. No, the parent. Hello? There you go. Hello? <laughs> hey, do you have your number? Oh, yeah. Are you tired of your greasy fingers getting your phone all filthy? That's disgusting. No longer do your soggy fingers have to touch any screen. This holographic information projection room it prevents the need to touch any surface. Welcome back to the Quartzel Update. Now for some school announcements. If you are interested in joining the boys basketball team, tryout flyers are in room 302. Are there any boys interested in playing on the golf team? Tryouts are Wednesday, November 8th and Thursday, November 9th at Rancho Vista Golf Course. There is a mandatory pre-tryout meeting after school on Friday, November 3rd in room 312. Good luck, Rebs. Freshman boys interested in playing on this year's soccer team, tryouts will be on November 13th, and for the rest of the boys, they will be on November 15th. For Highlands homecoming game, we crushed them. One of our crew members, Ethan, talked to football player Danny about the win. Let's check out some highlights. How do you feel about beating our rivals, Highland? Um, I mean, it's a good win for us. 
keep climbing that stone to a Golden League champs. What were you thinking during the game? Uh, I mean, first two quarters, I mean, we were thinking we should be playing better than what we are. But then as the game went on, we uh, improved as we went. Were you excited going into the game? I mean, yeah, who wouldn't be? It's a rivalry game. What do you guys need to improve during the game? Uh, our offensive line could improve. Uh, just staying true to our plays, being more physical, just mental things. Who do you think played the best during that game? I'd have to give my hats off to Matthew. Matthew and Randy. Matthew was just running all over them. Randy was just making sacks left to right. So, I mean, it's got to go to both of those guys. Thank you, Dan. Outstanding game, Rebs. Our crew was lucky enough to talk to Mr. Mahady about the girls' golf team season. Let's see what Mr. Mahady had to say. State your name. Kevin Mahady. What has been your best accomplishment as a coach? In golf, uh, winning the Golden League with the girls this past year. It's the first time in three years that Courtsville won the Golden League. What made you become interested in coaching the team? I enjoy golf. Um, it's a it's a fun activity that kids can do for their whole lives, and uh, they needed a coach. What is the most rewarding part of being a golf coach? Just watching the kids develop, watching girls who've never played the game before you know, figure it out, develop a love for it. How do you motivate your players? Um, really, they're self-motivated. You know, we don't do a lot. There's not a lot of rah-rah stuff with golf. Just their scores inspire them to, to work and get better. How do you plan on improving as a coach from year to year? I'm always reading, taking, you know, watching videos, uh, talking to other golf coaches about things we can do better. How has coaching affected your life? It's been rewarding at some level. It also takes a, a good deal of time away from my family. Uh, but my wife's very supportive, and uh, it's, it's just more, more or less been rewarding to get to know kids outside of the classroom. Do you have any best or worst memories in coaching? No, uh, you know, just just watching the kids have success are the best ones. And, you know, anytime you lose, it hurts. So those are the worst ones. What is the most difficult part of coaching? Uh, just the time commitment, maybe. I mean, it's not nothing too difficult with it, but just finding time to do all my teaching and my real job. Great season, golf team. Model UN is a well-known club here at our school. One of our crew members, James, spoke to club member Albert about the club. Let's take a look. Could you please state your name and position? Uh, my name is Albert Ule, and I'm a member of the MUN club. What is MUN? MUN stands for Model United Nations, in which the club we model or represent the United Nations as students. So we would go to conferences and such and pretend we're the United Nations. What activities and events do members participate in? Um, in club, when we do our meetings, we do debates and such, and also, you know, convene on certain ideas when it comes to the world around us, and as well as we go off to different schools and facilities around California and do conferences where, in which we pretend to be the MUI, I mean the United Nations. How does joining benefit students? So if you join, you will be able to understand how to speak, and speak your mind and speak your ideas to other people and you'll understand how conflicts and resolutions are made when it comes to the United Nations. When and where do members meet? Um, members meet on Fridays in Village room, room Village 15 and in that room we just do most of our meetings and such. Do you have any last comments? Um, in total if you if you're a person who believes that oh I'm either really good at public speaking or I'm really bad at it, I think MUN will be a pretty good place for you because you'll understand how to speak your mind and speak to other people about the thoughts and beliefs that you have. So if you think that's something you want to do and you love the political scene of things, you should join MUN. Model UN looks like an interesting club. Another cool club at our school is the Drama Club. One of our crew members, Jasmine, talked to Mr. Self about the club. Let's hear what Mr. Self had to say. Uh, I'm the advisor for Drama Club. 
uh, I provide sort of the logistical support. When are we gonna meet? How are we gonna meet? Following up, supporting the officers in order to get paperwork in for the events that we're doing, fundraisers, shows, um, and just kind of help provide direction overall. Yeah, um, we're actually gonna be having a drama club meeting this Wednesday, uh, right after school in this room on Wednesday. And um, we'll be talking about, uh, we've been offered to free tickets to see a show at the college. Uh, we've also got auditions Wednesday for the fall show, which is gonna be a festival of scenes and 10 minute plays. And that'll be the end of November and beginning of December. And then we'll do a spring show. Uh, we haven't decided on that yet. We're still looking at what we've got to work with. If they enjoy drama at all, even if they don't like acting, if they like painting, if they like building stuff, if they like working on lights, if they like working on sound, you know, which a lot of your students do, I would expect a lot of crossover. But um, come, we like to have fun. Uh, the club is the producing organization. So the money we get to do shows, we raise through the club. So if you at all enjoy drama, that's your opportunity to come meet other people who enjoy doing drama and create the drama on stage that we like to see. I can't wait to see what drama puts on this year. We have another Hall of Famer to highlight, Richard Haig. Our crew got some very interesting information on him. Let's take a look. Hi, can you tell me your name? My name's uh, Mr. Moeller and I teach algebra here at Quartzville High School. Okay, uh, can you tell me, uh, when was the first time you met uh, Richard Haig? Uh, I met Mr. Haig uh, my junior year when I took chemistry, back when chemistry was a, uh, a little bit later in their school year. And uh, he was um, my chemistry teacher. Uh, you know, he, um, he really prepared his students for going further into their education. He was very enthusiastic about uh, his subject. He loved chemistry. He loved passing that knowledge on. Um, he kind of instilled a love of the subject uh, in his students. And um, so, you know, he just, you could tell that he really enjoyed what he was teaching. Uh, uh, you're telling me like about uh, the mole. Oh yeah, he, um, his big deal was if you understood the mole, if you understood Avogadro's number and how it worked, that you would be very successful uh, when you went on to take chemistry in college. And that was true. We, uh, I went to, um, actually went to Irvine with uh, four other Quartzville grads and chemistry was, was much easier for us because we kind of, we had a better understanding, a better grounding in that concept than a lot of the other students. Do you know where it like, is now? You know what, I, he's still in the valley. He um, uh, he used, I don't know if he still does, but he used to go out to the desert prime woodland on their moon night, their, their moon walks. And um, he would, uh, he's with the, astro the astronomy club and he would bring his uh, telescope out. And other people would have their telescopes out there. I don't know if he's still doing that right now or not, but that was the last time I saw him. Number? Oh, yeah. Are you tired of your greasy fingers getting your phone all filthy? That's disgusting. No longer do your soggy fingers have to touch any screen. This holographic information projection room it prevents the need to touch any surface. For hundreds of years, teleportation has been nothing but a fictional concept in the minds of millions. We spent the past 16.3 years developing, engineering, and testing a shoe that brings teleportation to reality. Welcome back.
back to the Quartel update. Now for some news around town. On November 3rd, Selena Quintanilla will be getting her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Congratulations. The city of Palmdale is embarking on a year-long public art planning process and is asking residents to participate in its new public art survey. In just a few minutes, you can help, share, you can help shape the future of public art in Palmdale. Please fill out the survey. Thank you. We'll wrap up this show after a quick break. Are you tired of your greasy fingers getting your phone all filthy? That's disgusting. No longer do your soggy fingers have to touch any screen. This holographic information projection room it prevents the need to touch any surface. It bus bands. Boss Bands turn you into the ultimate defender of American justice. Can you handle the boss? Order now for the low price of $49.99, plus shipping and handling. This offer is not available in stores. Welcome to more details. Many more people are not responsible for radiation poisoning, which may result in coma or death. Call your doctor if you're going to see the last one before. Welcome back. That puts, a, that puts the end on this show, but join us again next week for more school news and weather. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Brooke Irwin. And I'm Athena Rodriguez. Have a great week. This has been the Quartzel Update. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right.